I'm going to practice decision making for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The focus of this exercise is to practice finding strength in a dealt hand. I call this exercise random pulls. It's really a what would you play and pass scenario. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. It's a great way to practice the first step in picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Try not to read any of the comments under the video until after you have seen the exercise. That way you won't be biased when you make your decision on what to play and what tiles to pass. For this first random pull, we have jokers and east, a two crack, two, three, four with a pung, pair of fives and a seven, eight. Pause the video and take note on what you would play and pass for your first pass with these tiles. I think the strength in this dealt hand is going to be here, four, five. Since those are consecutive, that's the category I would focus on, building around four, five. So I would keep the two, three, and I would pass those first. I would play consecutive run, maybe three, four, five, six. This would be the second hand down under consecutive run. I probably wouldn't pick a hand though. I'd probably stay concealed until we run out of discards. Hold all the consecutive tiles around four and five. So two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. Consecutive run, I think, is the strength here. We're going to be the dealer for this one. We have 14 tiles. We have a north, one, two, seven singles and dots, one, two, four, or one, two, eight singles in bams. Then we have cracks with three consecutive pairs. This is pull two. Pause the video and make a note of what you would play and what would you would pick for your first pass. I think the strength of this hand is going to be five, six, seven consecutive run. So I would hold all the consecutive tiles around five, six, seven. So I would keep the seven and the eight. I would probably pass a wind and one of each suit. One, three north. But that leaves two twos for the next pass. If we get all keepers, that's what we'd have to pass. So I instead would pass there, two, three north. But here we're left with two ones. So that's what I would pass first. Then this next. First pass, which is still a little risky because we have year tiles, but I like to look ahead a pass just in case we get all keepers. For pull three, we have a joker, a wind, and a dragon, three dots, four bams, three cracks, one pair in cracks. What would you play 
for pull three and what would you pick for your first pass? I think the strength is going to be with the fours. So I would hold the fours. Since we have no twos or sixes, I would play consecutive run around the fours. So I would hold consecutive numbers around the fours. Maybe hold the, the green at least because there is a hand with one suit green, although our pairs with the cracks. So this probably would go, I would pass these. So maybe wind eight, seven, leaving an eight, nine, play consecutive run or like numbers with fours. We really wouldn't have to pick a hand until we run out of discards. The first step in picking a hand is to identify the strength in your dealt hand. Random pulls is a great way to practice this skill. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls, for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.